my name is Eva and welcome to my channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to play When You Say Nothing At All, originally sung by Keith Whitley. And it's also popularized by a lot of singers like Ronan Keating and Alison Krauss. But before we begin, make sure to hit like and subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this. So let's begin. First thing that you need to do is to make sure that your uke is tuned. And then we're gonna need a capo for this song. So this is the version that I sung in my uh, one of my videos. So um, I'm gonna put the link below. So if you want to play along with that video as well. So here, um, we need to put it on the first fret. So put the cap on the first fret and the pattern that I'm gonna teach in this video is a finger style pattern. It's very easy, so don't worry about it. But if you're not confident enough yet, um, you can do just strumming like down, 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 wait, down, down. But as I said in this video, it's gonna be finger style pattern. So the pattern is second, third, fourth, and then third string. So it's like this. So now I'm gonna teach you the chords. The chords are D, A, G. Okay, so let's play with the D chord first. So remember the strumming pattern? This is how you play it. Second, third, fourth, third. So it's gonna be easier for you if you use the index middle and the ring finger for the in each string so for the second string index then next is the middle finger and the next is the ring finger here you can pause this video and then practice it as well next is the a chord Next is G, G chord. Second, third, fourth, third. Okay, so those are the only chords that we need for this song. Now, let's play the intro. So the intro is D, A, G, A twice. So let's try it. play the intro now let's proceed with verse 1 and verse 1 is also DAGA twice and this is how you play it how you play the first line next the second line it's the same as the first line the aga the aga without saying the word you can light up the dark a. now the third line is quite different from the first and second you just need G, but you have to play it twice, and then A, and you have to play it twice as well. Try as I may, I can never explain. 
So next is the fourth line and it's just D A G A and then um, the last chord is A and you have to play a single strum after that. So this is how you play it. What I hear when you don't say a thing. Single strum. And after that is the chorus. So next the chorus and we have the AGA for the first line. The smile on your face lets me know that you need me. So it's just the AGA and then next it's the same thing. There's a truth in your eyes saying Next is the third line, and with the third line, um, you need to play G twice and then A twice as well after DNA. So, the touch of your head says you'll catch me again. If ever I fall, A, A. Next is the fourth line. You say it best when you say nothing at all. So it's G and then A. So you say it best twice. When you say nothing at all. So when you reach all, you have to do the instrumental part or it's uh, the same as the intro. D, A, G, A. Again. Next is the second verse, or verse 2, and it's the same as the first verse. So let's just play um, each line so that you also know to, or when to change each chord. So let's begin with the first line. Second line. But when you hold me near, you drown out the crowd. A G A. Next is old Mr. Webster could never define G. You have to play it twice, and then A. You have to play it twice as well. Old Mr. Webster could never. Next is what's been said between your heart and mine. What's been said between your heart and mine. And then you proceed to chorus. So basically, that's how you play the song. So it might take time to get used to playing it using finger style, but I'm sure that you're going to enjoy it and uh, it's all worth it because. You can, you can use the finger style pattern in other songs. So um, I hope that you learned something from this video. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.